Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, name the octants in which following points lie. To solve this problem, that is to determine the octant to which a particular point belongs, will refer to this table showing the signs of the coordinates of a point in 8 octants. And we see that in the first octant, all the three coordinates are positive. In the second octant, the x coordinate is negative and yz are positive. In the third octant, we see that x and y coordinates are negative, z is positive. In the fourth octant, x and z are positive, y is negative. In the fifth octant, x and y are positive and z is negative. And in the sixth octant, we see that x and z coordinates are negative but y is positive. And we see that in the seventh octant, all the three coordinates are negative. And in the eighth octant, we see that the x coordinate is positive but y and z are negative. So looking at this table, we'll answer this question. Let us now move on to the solution. The first point is 1, 2, 3. Now we see that all the three coordinates are positive. So this point lies in the first octant. And the second point given to us is 4, minus 2, 3. And here we can see that x and z coordinates are positive but y is negative and we see that in the fourth octant x and z are positive but y is negative so this point lies in fourth octant now the third point given to us is 4 minus 2 minus 5 here y and z coordinates are negative but x coordinate is positive and we see that in the 8th octant x is positive but y and z are negative. So this point lies in the 8th octant. Now the 4th point given to us is 4, 2, minus 5. Here we see that x and y coordinates are positive but z is negative and we can see that in the 5th octant x and y are positive but z is negative so this point lies in the fifth octant now the next point given to us is minus 4 2 minus 5 that is your x and z coordinates are negative but the y coordinate is positive now we see in which octant x and z are negative but y is positive in the 6th octant. So this point lies in the 6th octant. Now the next point given to us is minus 4, 2, 5. Here y and z coordinates are positive but x is negative. Let's now see in which octant x is negative but y and z are positive in the second octant. Looking at this table you can easily see that which point lies in which octant. Looking at their signs. Now the next point given to us is minus 3 minus 1 6. Here x and y are negative but z is positive and this happens in the third octant. Now the last point given to us is 2 minus 4 minus 7. Here y and z are negative but x is positive and this happens in eighth octant. Hence, 
The answer is the first point lies in the first octant, second lies in the fourth octant, third lies in the eighth octant, fourth lies in the fifth octant, fifth lies in the sixth octant, and the sixth point lies in the second octant. And the next point lies in the third octant. And the last lies in the eighth octant. And this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.